Okay, so I think this game is a bit more complicated than I'm getting it credit for. But before we do any of that, I want to take oh, a look at Things from things Space, from space my favorite game. game. Oh, I skipped past the leaderboard or the tutorial or whatever. Oh no, I don't know what to do. Okay, I use the mouse and I click to shoot. So I just shoot asteroids. Okay, sounds good. I can do that. It's a little laggy or whatever. I can't really hear the music because uh, I'm busy shooting things. Okay, I got like a little... A little power up bonus kind of thing. Oh, this is kind of like techno kind of music. This is very nostalgic. This is like, I mean, I didn't really, I was born a little too late to, you know, actually experience these games, or these kinds of games. But as a big nerd of all things retro computer games, I can appreciate this kind of thing. This is pretty cool. Makes me want to like do more Let's Plays of like DOS games and you know, like I know uh, I Am Mean was technically a DOS game, but that wasn't even the full game. So, uh, whatever. And as you know, I love anything that has to do with outer space. Let's do another level just for funsies. So if I get a, if I get 1,000, I'm rank 5. If I get 2,000, I'm rank 4, etc., etc. All the way up to 5,000, which is rank 1. That's pretty cool. Oh no. I don't really care for shmups too often. Um, I played Freedom Finger because it was artsy, and that was a that was a genuinely pretty cool game. That's a weird game. That's a weird shmup. I'm surprised it's not better known because that was a pretty badass game. Um, it's the kind of game uh, that I would not want my uh, it's pretty strict Christian parents, you know, to see me playing, etc., etc., whatever, because, you know, the spaceship in that game is like a giant middle finger. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty cool game. Shooting some asteroids. Asteroids for the N64. I'm obsessed with N64 games. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you knew this already. But it's funny how, like, to most people, the, the N64 means, like, GoldenEye or Smash or something. And, like, that's not, like... I don't know. I feel, like, weird... I mean, to me, like, the N64 means, like, Banjo-Kazooie, but it also means, like, weird games, like, you know, uh, Bomberman Hero, or Bomberman 64 The Second Attack, or Rocket Robot on Wheels, or, or Tigger's Honey Hunt, or, or Mystical Ninja, or Goemon's Great Adventure, or even, um, Gex, or even uh, Duck Dodgers, you know, all these sort of, like, you know, Earthworm Jim. 40 Winks, you know, Rayman 2, stuff like that. I mean, it's not, I mean... Oh, wow. This is fun. I'm shooting the spaceships. It's really, it's really cool. B. B is for bonus. Wow, great commentary. B is for bonus. Bonus. Give a dog a bonus. From Space Station Silicon Valley. That level's frustrating. That game is frustrating. Oh, I forgot that I can move up and down-ish, sort of. It sort of works, it sort of doesn't work. 
Oh, we're already on level three. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Oh my goodness, that's a big asteroid. I remember I used to play um, this one, like, uh, VeggieTales game where it was all about shooting the asteroids, but, like, there was also popcorn involved somehow. Okay, so the high score is 5,000. Well, I gotta beat the high score. Level four. Good old retro vocoder. Moog. Synthesizer. You know, whatever. Look at these asteroids. Man, look at the graphics. On oh, wow, you're a fast little guy, aren't you? You're a fast little guy, aren't you? Oh, no, I got deaded by the thing. But at least I beat the high score. I beat the high score on my first life, and I still have two more lives. Oh my god, you're a big guy, you're a big potato looking fellow. He <laughs> asteroids look like potatoes. This is the worst commentary ever, I don't know, I'm trying. I'm Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Oh, what? How come this is so much harder to use? Man. Music by C-Fax Acid Crew. He has to be one of my favorite musicians currently. C-Fax. Alright, that's, that's enough. That's enough for me. Alright, so... I was just looking at the walkthrough and already I forgot what, um what we were doing. So I, I believe we actually want to go back to the ice skating rink and talk to him about the ladybug girl. Oh, we have to wait for this whole animation again. Because actually we want to win one of those roses. I totally forget that nice one of the gadgets really like was uh, Do you think I could have one of about ice skating. To give her? I'm sorry. But I can only give out a rose when an ice skater performs a perfect single snow boot. A perfect single snow I can gather snow information boot? about the single snow boot ice skate snow move boot. with this talk balloon. Okay. And actually, even though it looks like she's in the background, you're supposed to be able to talk to B Bear, our favorite uh, grouchy waitress from the first game. She was she was a good character. Um and I'm completely lost again. What is the layout of this game? Why is it so dumb? There's so many places to go. There she is. So we can go in here and actually talk to her. Hello. What do you say you specialize in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Oh man that hurts? Why do they call it that? Because it is. Oh man that hurts. <laughs> oh man that hurts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not the paper plane. <laughs> That reminds me of oh, a similar yeah. gag the in, um... Attention is just dissolving away. Uh, Dog City, that one Jim Henson, uh, short skit, I guess. Short film, short skit, whatever. Not a, not a short skit, but sort of a short film. And, uh, there's that one gag about, like, Oh, I'm trained in the ancient art of why I oughta. Why I oughta. Why I oughta. How you doing? I, I guess the restaurant business didn't work out for you. What do you know about the single snow boot ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. You look tense. Let I me tell give you, you a know, massage. I did the single snow boot as the masked she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Perfect. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Perfect. Thanks. 
Now let's go back to Mobcom and actually look at what gadgets that we have. not Because I totally forgot that, yes, this is a... Oh, hey, it's Walter Wireless. What are you doing? That's not going to do me any good. Let's actually look at what uh, gadgets we have, because I totally forgot all about that. Heat. Okay, I can think I can think of a use for heat. Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now, this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say, like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. Oh, all right. Now that's a gadget that really rises but to dumb. the occasion. <laughs> hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. Okay. Poor tummy. Um, and we're running out of slots. What do we use the termite grenade for? I'm so curious. Me. Here's where I keep. Mm, I'm gonna be paying attention to that. I'll save. Um. Uh, meanwhile, let we have a couple things to do now. So let's either. Oh, oh gracious me! Oh my! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh. Yes. Can we? Can we not? Don't want to do that. I want to do this. So let's go to the ice skating rink again. Put on our special ice skates. I don't now answer I'm landline set to show phones. Off the moves I've learned in the spy ice folly. I don't care if it's my parents' landline phone in my home. I don't trust landline phones. This should do the trick. Ah, uh, I hope they don't leave me a voice message while I'm trying to record. Good job. That was perfect. Oh. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Ah. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. <gasps> it was you so good. It. I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck. It's like that uh, that animation the uh, where Peppermint Thank Patty you. learns to ice skate road. and Snoopy is her coach. That was a that was a strange one. I remember that one very vaguely from my childhood. And uh, and now we have a rose. So let's also uh, stop in here and do this thing with the thermometer. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. Aha! Excuse oh man, me, that's but hot. The temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Man, it's July. Oh, I'm gonna have no. the air conditioner I running. I must call the air conditioning repair place. Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. See you later. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. So, got some wax statues. Got a dog with some ice cream. Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made huh. sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. That sounds delicious. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella. Light bulbs uh -huh. painted black. And shoes made out of bubble gum. Gum shoes. After playing in the all day, you could have a stinky snack. Why is why is your mouth frozen? George Washington Cougar, an inventor who found 101 uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They okay. don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. That sounds like Flubber, the movie Flubber. Bella a Bug, who worked hard oh. for Roach's Rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Ah, uh, roach hotels. Bert Barracuda, the successful songwriter who oh, wrote such pop it. standards as Do You Know the Way to Swim Upstream? And my personal <laughs> favorite, What's It All About Algae? <laughs> 
Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known oh, for his imaginative it. pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative box. A chef outfit just might come in handy. It might. Aw, poor, poor guy. Left in his polka dots. Well, I think we know what the uh, chef costume does. Ooh, can we get his coffee pot? No. Been thinking of uh, getting a pour over for my Baltimore apartment, possibly. Uh, crikey's, it's hot in here. Sweet Kimberly Akimbo. It is too darn hot, as Cole Porter would say. And um, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, oh, I, I want to try something, actually. We can actually look up, down, and all around. Oh, hey there. Ew, gross. It's little boogies. Oh, hey there. What a great way to view the fish. Truly. Wow. Wow. Look at you. It's a giraffe in a hotel. It's a window cleaner. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. Nothing like it. Oh wow, it's a pretty big city. I like how it's like the cartoony kind of city. You know. It's fun to look at things close up. Yeah. You could say that. Now that's just the roof of the uh, ice skating rink. Or what? What in the world? It's like a whole like stream or like water park or something. Okay. These binoculars work swell. Yes, thank you, Spy Fox. I don't care. Diagonal, okay. Oh, and there's the Alps. What city is this? We must really be in Canada. I don't know. What a great way to view the fair. Or Denver, I don't know. I doubt Denver looks like this. Some crazy buildings. It's like it's like what they thought the future would look like in the 50s or something like that. And where are we going? Either back to um, the kitchen place or back to uh, the plant place. And I'm already forgetting how to get back to both. No. Yes. There we go. That shouldn't be that hard, except for... Someone like me, I guess I have trouble with complicated maps. It's not even complicated. What? You're cooking a boot? What are you doing? Ahem. Oh! Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dock. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. Why, thank you. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. Oh, you are too kind, too kind. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, that's enough you of sure that. You sure LaRoche wouldn't rather have a nice stack of pancakes? No, he specifically wants spit roasted boot bearnaise, but he wants it with boot a fork, bernays. and I can't find a fork anywhere. Oh, we need a fork. Interesting. Let's um. Well, I know I know one of the spy gadgets is a fork. Let's use this oven, shall we? Uh. 
in goes the key, out comes a key, I guess. Amazing! The key it's goes like, into the oven. What's that size, kid's toy that's like an tiny, oven? Much like my Aunt Ethel's meatloaf. Anyway. Uh, I think we're gonna call it there. And we're gonna save. So, thank you everybody for hanging out. And I'll see you next time on Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required.